Okay, so welcome everyone to the South Jersey Alliance's third artist conversation. We've taken the summer to uh, make a shift and make some space for artists to come and talk with us and talk with each other so that we can find out what is happening um, in the South Jersey cultural landscape. Sorry if my um, face suddenly turns into a cartoon version of myself. Uh, we seem to be having some bandwidth issues and occasionally Zoom will, will put me on to uh, not having my video be live, but I'll try and manage that uh, as the, the conversation goes on. So um, we're gonna keep things light today. I wanted to start just by um, kind of going over what these meetings are intended for, giving everyone a chance to introduce themselves, uh, say a little bit about what they're currently working on, and then we can um, see where the conversation goes. If there are topics rising to the top, we can focus on those. Um, I'm going to be keeping some notes so that if there are things we don't get to today, we won't forget about them and we can put a pin in it and return to them either in a later conversation or um, follow up with another program if that's what's needed. So um, let's get started today. Um, we had about 40 people respond and not everyone is here yet. Um, I would love for everyone to just take a moment for those of you that are uh, currently in the room to just say your name, um, where you are location wise and, and real briefly what you're working on right now. And then we can get to know each other a little better. So I know that's difficult um, because everyone's screen looks different. So I'm just gonna do Brady Bunch style and go according to my squares. So one of my favorites, Paul Hartelius, you're my first square, yay. So please introduce yourself, say where you are and what you are working on. Oh, we can't hear you. You have to turn off the mute. Can you hear me now? Now we can hear you. Okay, there you go. Anyway, I'm Paul Hartelius. I'm with Pine Shores Art Association. also volunteer with Tucket and Seaport. Uh, with Pine Shores, I do anything and everything. And uh, I don't know what else you need to know, Julie. What, That's what about it. I just want everyone to introduce themselves. Okay. Thank you, Paul, for being our, our first. Uh, Laura Bethman, you are next. I'm so glad we were able to, to get you connected today. Why don't you tell us a little about what you're working on, where you're, where you're working from, too. We got you now, Laura, I think we can hear you. All right, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Well, I didn't hear you say yes, so I don't know what's going on, but. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, I heard that. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, thanks for resetting that link too. And I don't know what that was, but I hope it gets sorted out. Um, I'm in Hamilton. I've been here for um, four years and I did live in Tuckerton. I know the Tuckerton Seaport well, Paul. Um, and I'm a artist and a writer. I've um, published three books and <clears throat> I don't know, I paint um, watercolor and I do nature printing and I'm particularly interested in, um, I'm a founding member of the art club, which is in Hamilton. <clears throat> and I'm particularly interested in getting some feedback from other people here. Um, what to do with a topic about um, having uh, exhibitions. We've done a lot in um, Hamilton and doing all kinds of events, but I'd like to find more um, accomplished artists to uh, take part in our exhibitions. So I'd like to talk, you know, find out if anybody has any, any uh, feedback on that. Great, thank you, Laura. I'm sure that um, SJCA can help with that and probably several other people on the call can. Uh, help you with that. So I'll, I'll make a note of that to make sure that we uh, get back to that. Thank mm -hmm. you. And let's see, who's next? Another one of my favorites, Paula Farrar, you are the next square. Hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Paula Farrar. Um, I am an artist. I am in Hamilton right now, just opened up uh, Piney Hollow Art Studio. Um, 
I've been in business for 10 years with the studio, but just now got brick and mortar. So just had my grand opening last month. Uh, so just getting the ball rolling with that and getting, uh, building my uh, students. I teach um, workshops, private lessons, and there's open studio for artists to come and work. Um, so if anybody's interested in doing that, I have the space uh, and uh, we'll discuss, you know, how that, that works. Um, also, I am the vice president with the Grand Theater. Uh, I started there in 2004 as a set director and designer. I still design the sets, but now I do all the background ball that goes with it, all the running of, you know, the, the business part of it. I also curated an art gallery there. So I'm always looking for artists there to, to represent. Um, we um, run our shows right now, the Grand Theater, we're getting ready to open finally. Uh, for the fall season, we're opening with 13, heading into Dream Girls, and then we're, um, we have Elf up in, at the end of November. So those are all cast. They're all in full production right now. So we're really excited about that. And I'm also able to open up my gallery again, or the gallery there. And we run in um, conjunction with the shows that are going on, So, um, which is six main stage shows a year. So I try to keep it to three themed exhibits. And then I'm always looking for at least three solo artists for so three artists a year for solo exhibits. So if anybody's interested in that too, please reach out to me. Um, our, Joel, will we be able to like get everybody's email address or? Absolutely. If everyone agrees that their information is okay to share, I will certainly send that out with the thank you email post event. I send out the recording and just any links or bits of information that I think people were looking for. And I actually have quite a few links to share with everyone too when I do a small update before we wrap here. So I'll make sure to include all of that, Paula. Um, yeah, great. Anyone... I really appreciate it because I think, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. No, no, I no. think as much as I, I'm always yelling at myself to do for myself, I'm the artist, do for myself, I find that I kind of migrate always to helping my fellow artists, either with building them up with um, getting their feet into galleries or opening up space for them, uh, helping them succeed. So um, I guess that's my lot in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's a great lot and one that I think is super helpful to the South Jersey cultural community. And I think that's a, a sentiment and a tone that, that you're going to see um, reiterated quite a bit. Because I think that's that's the key to everyone having success is working together, being collaborative and helping each other tap into resources that are already existing so that we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We can really fill in the, the actual gaps by identifying them together and going to the right resources, which is where SJCA can hopefully lend a hand to, to the community. So thanks for sharing all of that, Paula. And um, she brings, Paul brings up a good point as well. If you have any links or info or anything you wanna share, feel free to put it in the chat because I, I can save all of the bits and pieces from the chat. And then that way I'll have that to copy and paste into the thank you email. Okay, all right. So next on the list is Hannah. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Hannah Ueno and I have a last name that's almost impossible to pronounce. So I just go by Hannah. I am a faculty member at Stockton University. I teach in visual art program. I am currently the chair of the program. And we have some uh, exciting exhibitions that's happening at the art gallery on campus, in Galloway campus, starting September 7th. I have, uh, we have a painting sculpture uh, and video installation. And we also have an uh, exhibition about the veterans and the artist collaborative exhibition in October, uh, as well as the Armenian genocide themed exhibition. Those all um, collaborate with panel talks presentations and so on. So I will send some details, information to uh, the South Jersey Cultural Alliance so it can be distributed accordingly. But I'm very happy to be here today and 
looking forward to get to know each and every one of you. Well, thank you so much, Hannah. We're so glad you made it today. And you can send all of that information to me. I'm going to put my email in the chat. So um, make sure you send that over. And I'm happy to help spread that around. It sounds like some great installations and exhibits. Great. OK. And then Vicki Benetti. Nice to see your face here today, too. Introduce yourself and tell us what you're working on and where you're from. Sure. Uh, my name is Vicki Benetti. I'm from Washington Township. and. Uh, I wish I were an artist. <laughs> I've always wanted to be an artist, but the best I can do is, I hope, to help artists find their audience uh, and their fulfillment. I'm currently on the board of music at Bunker Hill, which is a, a classical music, a chamber music organization, a nonprofit in Washington Township. And uh, I have come to know many of you through another role that I fill, which is through our sustainability program in Washington Township, we have created a creative team and the purpose of it is to promote the arts in Washington Township um, and, and the area in general. Uh, we have found at least the township is um, very big on sports and not so big on culture. And so we're aiming to sort of expand our horizons a bit. Uh, so far, we've had some success with a couple of outdoor exhibits that we have had. And thank you to some unnamed artists who are on this call who have participated with your glorious work. Um, with uh, the outdoor exhibits, a little special and a little different in that it's, um, it's not original works of art. They are reproduced on vinyl panels, but they get a terrific audience because there are thousands of visitors to our, our park all of the time. And we've gotten wonderful feedback about it. Uh, we've also done a plein air art festival, which was extremely successful. We'll be repeating that. And uh, at the moment, and, and we've done some other things. Um, also, um, a member, of, a member, excuse me, of our Rotary Club, and we have a wine festival upcoming in September, on September 18th. And I'm actually looking for anyone who might want to be uh, what might be called a crafter. Pardon my phone, I can't shove it off. It will first ring while I'm talking. Um, but uh, the, um, uh, we're looking for artisans or artists who would like to exhibit. The Rotary is a charitable organization. So when I say that we're asking for a donation of $100 to get a 10 by 10 foot space, all of that money does go directly to the charity that we're supporting in this year. That's uh, our police community caretaking programs. So if anybody knows of uh, crafters which, uh, or, or artisans who would like to exhibit on the 18th of September, please contact me. We'd really like to promote everybody's work. Thanks. Thanks, Vicki. I will definitely help uh, spread the word about that. If you want to send me a link to an application or whatever you've got that I can share digitally, that'd be great. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. And next we have Andrew Bast. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew. I am the chief operating officer of the brand called One True Promotion, a um, promotional brand that uh, basically um, looks for independent authors, artists, uh, creators of any kind, and we give them a platform. And look at that. My phone's going off now. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, essentially, what our brand is, is we try to um, give um, – you, you folks a, a place to platform on a social media post. We have channels on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and Twitter. And we're also um, now getting into Snapchat and, of course, uh, TikTok. Um, and basically, we're all about promoting you guys and cross-promoting with us. Um, my other co-founder, Alec, who unfortunately couldn't be here, is an author as well. Um, the two of us are always looking... Uh, to um, to uh, project our brand and to um, take your brand to the next level. So uh, if you guys have any events um, that you guys uh, would like to um, share or if you guys would like any uh, exposure on a, a social media platform, um, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. 
See, I forgot the mute button too. Thanks, Andrew, for that. I met Andrew this weekend at the Arts and Authors Extravaganza in Cherry Hill. Um, it was a great gathering of artists and authors and performers from all over the state and um, the Tri-County area, really. It's the 10th year of the event. It was a really great experience. I'm glad that I um, connected with Andrew there. And um, next on our list is Raymond Tyler. I connected with him at that same event this weekend. So hi, Raymond. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I'm located in the Atlantic City area. I'm also a member of the Atlantic City uh, Arts Commission. I have uh, several radio shows that I produce between Atlantic City and Philadelphia. I also uh, cover the arts for Shore Local Magazine and Atlantic County Magazine. So if you guys have anything uh, coming up, make sure you take my uh, email address, which is in the chat, and send me your press release, invites, all that good stuff. I also uh, curate events for the Arts Garage. I curate events for the LaBelle Art Gallery in Voorhees. And um, as well as the Arts Garage, I'm also a um, the Black Arts Matter or Black Artists Matter curator for Quirky Turkey Art Gallery in Clementon, uh, New Jersey. And on September 24th, we're going to debut our fourth Friday events, uh, where we're going to celebrate the arts with uh, live performances, uh, some giveaways. We're going to do some art prizes for uh, the people on our show and a lot of good stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we got all that going on. And uh, if you'd like to be a part of what I have going on or if you'd like to work with me in some kind of way, uh, please contact me. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Raymond. I'll make sure that I include all of your info in the, the post of that email too. Okay, and now Rachel joined us. Rachel Citrino, do you want to take just a minute, say who you are, um, where you're working from, and what you're working on? Hi, everyone. I am not Rachel Centrino. Um, she is here. Um, my name is Danielle Cartier. I'm also another artist. Um, my studio, I work out of Camden. Um, and I do painting, printmaking, and mixed media work. Um, I taught at Rutgers University, Camden, and I currently teach um, drawing and painting classes at Stockton University with Hannah. Um, and Rachel's right here. I actually am a studio assistant for her uh, in her studio. Um, so we are two South Jersey artists. So um, you're getting a twofer. Oh yeah, a twofer over here. <laughs> so I'm Camden, and we're in Bridgeton right now at Rachel's studio. Yeah, I, uh, I recently moved my studio from Philadelphia to uh, Rhodestown, which is near Bridgeton, and uh, so I'm here full time. And um, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm a painter, uh, printmaker, sculptor. I've been in it for a long time, so I do a lot of things, and. Uh, I recently had a show at Perkins in Collingswood. Um, I have a show coming up at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts where I'm on the board of the fellowship. And, um, and I'm a lot of activities, a lot of stuff. So all I'm, over South Jersey. Yeah, yeah, all over South Jersey and Philadelphia. Yes. And I do um, mostly painting. Um, I do mixed media paintings and murals for my studio in Camden. Um, and on the on September 12th, I have an opening at Camden Fireworks um, is the new gallery in Camden and they're having an opening. So please everyone come support the new space at Camden Fireworks. Yeah. Excited to get to know everyone here yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad we got a two for today. I love that. I like when people bring their friends. <laughs> to my that's, that's excellent. And um, I certainly love everything that Camden Fireworks does. And I'm really happy to hear that the new exhibit is gonna be opening in September. I'll definitely check that out. And um, I'll, I'll reach out to them, get some information so that I can make sure we promote that for you guys too. Thanks. Right. Thank you. Okay, next on the list, um, Bill May. Bill, do you wanna just say hi to everyone? Sure, good Bill's afternoon. one of our board members. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm, I'm a relative newcomer to this part of the state. I've spent um, most of my life in Essex County, 
And uh, I retired and I thought I was going to retire to Charleston, South Carolina, but this is as far as I got and, and uh, it's okay. Um, uh, what I do in terms of being a visual artist is I'm a photographer and most of the work that I do, uh, have done has been photographing jazz musicians in performance. Um, and um, so right now, uh, not much of that is happening, but I have uh, been doing it for 40, uh, more than 40 years. And I will put my website um, in the chat as well as my email address. And um, I'm very encouraged and delighted to hear so much is going on down in this part of, in the arts, down in this part of the state. So um, I think, yeah, well, I'm over in Millville. I think I'm near um, Rachel. Yeah, I'm right up the street from you. Okay, so thank you very much. And I'm gonna go back to, um, you know, just being the blind guy here. So my uh, patch won't be distracting. That's another story altogether. So it's the one-eyed photographer, okay? I love Enjoy. it. Hey, okay. it works for Dale Chihuly. He seems to be doing okay. So I think you'll be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Okay. And Molly Carpenter just joined us. Molly, do you want to just chime in real quick and introduce yourself and say where you're working from and what you're working on? Um, yeah. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Um, no problem. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I'm from Mannington, New Jersey, uh, and uh, I'm a sculptor. And I am showing currently at Soma Gallery in Cape May and the Station Gallery over in Wilmington, Delaware. And I do have a picture here somewhere too, sorry. Wonderful. It's, it's always nice to see everyone's face, but I, I don't like looking at my own face any much more than I have to. So I understand if you wanna turn, turn the camera off periodically. Um, it. But it is it is nice for everyone to get together as much as we, we can um, while we have to be distanced. So thank you everyone um, for taking time today to be with us. Um, oh, Camden Fireworks is just popping in. Is that Asaya? There you are, I saw you for a second. Hi. We just finished going around the room, having everyone just briefly say who they are, where they're from, what they're working on. So it would be your oh. turn, Saya. Thank you. I thought I came late enough that I'd, I'd missed that. You did not escape, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm Asaya. I am the director of Camden Fireworks. We are a community-based art gallery in Camden in the Waterfront South District. Um, what am I working on? Oh my gosh, we have an exhibition. What am I not working on? <laughs> we have an exhibition that's starting um, September the 12th, so in just a few weeks. So we're getting ready for all that. Um, we usually host monthly community workshops where people from the residential area around us can come and make art. So uh, that's a nutshell what we're doing, but I'm all the time advocating on behalf of the arts in South Jersey. So. Hi, everyone. Yes, Asaya is, is a fantastic partner. SJCA works really closely with her. She's on our Of By For All Change team committee, which helps us to do outreach and make sure that we're representing all of the artists across uh, all of the eight counties and telling the, the full story of, of arts and culture in South Jersey, because clearly there's a lot happening and that does seem to surprise a lot of people. So SJCA is really trying to help to connect all of the artists, art organizations, history organizations, cultural community groups, all of the players in the cultural community so that we can make sure that we all know what we're working on. We can pool resources and collaborate when possible, build our capacity and you know let the rest of the state and the world know that we've got a lot happening here and they should be paying attention. Um, so this group is one step in that process. Um, we are, you know, like I said, the summer has turned into the, the summer of artists conversation. Um, we've had three months of these and they have been going really well. And I think that they are um, helping to connect you guys. Um, I'd like to see these conversations continue with artists and also with other areas within um, arts and history and cultural organizations and community groups as well. So um, if you find these conversations and these types of meetings to be beneficial, um, I'm gonna put some information in the chat here and it is going to be a, a lot of links, um, but the links that I am sharing with you are um, links where you can suggest 
suggestions for topics uh, of conversation or agenda items for future calls. I want to have these be kind of open-ended um, conversations where artists take the lead and talk about what's important to them and what's happening for you right now. I wanna listen, I wanna try and help to um, broker collaborations or help point you in the way of resources, but this is really your meeting and your space for you guys to, um, to talk about what's of interest to you. So I wanna make sure that you have an opportunity to um, let us know before the call so that we can pull in resources as needed. I don't know if that came through as a link, I put it in the chat, but um, I will make sure that we get a actual link for you um, and you can suggest other, other topics to talk about. Um, so for the rest of today, it sounds like we have a couple of upcoming exhibits that are already put together. And Laura, I believe it was you that said you were looking for other artists to collaborate with for uh, an exhibit that you are putting together. Do you wanna talk a little bit more about that? Because I think we, we now have um, a good well-rounded group that might be able to, to help. Sure, thank you. Um, the, I, this is, it's really very initial, this, you know, this uh, program because um, as part of uh, our club in Hamilton, we've done a whole lot of um, different um, activities. Our arts and music festival, you know, went off really well this, this month. It was our first annual and we've done other, ex uh, other exhibitions and it's really hard during the pandemic, but you know, we had um, online, we took their Thursday online um, during the lockdown and that went really well. And, you know, there's a big long list of things that we've been doing and collaborating with, you know, the Noise Museum and the Arts Garage and, and Main Street Hamilton. Um, but we don't have a formal location. We are always looking for some place to do, um, uh, you know, indoor exhibits and like our, our outdoor arts music festival was, we closed down a whole block um, in downtown Hamilton for that. And that went uh, well. But a, we haven't had an exhibition of accomplished artists in the South Jersey area. And um, I'd really like to put that together. And I don't know a lot of artists down here outside of Hamilton. And I've only lived here four years and, you know, in South Jersey. And, um, and uh, we don't have a location. So you know, I'm not sure where to start except right here. Um, you know, <laughs> see if there are any uh, any good um, and and there's a lot of wonderful artists who are on the call too, and who have access to uh, working with lots of great artists apparently in the area. And um, so I'm open to all and any suggestions and ideas of you know where to start. Great. If that's too uh, vague, you know, but. <laughs> It, it's not too big, and I, I definitely think that we can can help you find some artists. A Andrew, did I see you have a hand raised, or were you were you just moving something? Okay, um, I think. Does anyone on the call have specific um, suggestions for Laura? I think I was going to suggest talking to Bill Horn over at um, Art C and Strobe because he definitely has a a long list of artists that um, show all around South Jersey and outside of South Jersey um, and are very high quality. And I think he, he may have some suggestions for you as well. Um, and certainly the SJ Camp, the cultural asset map project that we've been looking uh, working on, you might wanna take a look there because you can search by uh, geographic area or type of artwork or by artist name. So you can um, search for all the individual artists in, in any given area or genre there. And we have um, several hundred in there. So you can take a look at their profiles and see if that might be someone that you wanna reach out to as well. Oh, great. Um, were there awesome. other suggestions from the group? Yes. I'd like to suggest that you have a conversation with, with Mike Cagno at the Noise, and uh, he's very well connected, as just as Bill Horan is, and um, he might be very interested. Okay, that sounds very good. Thank That's you. a fantastic suggestion. I, Bill, Bill and Michael work real closely together yes. a lot, so mm -hmm. I think that's that's gonna be a, a good well to, to draw from and I can get you um, contact information if you need it, Laura. Well, actually I do have contact information and I know Mike Cagno, I haven't um, 
haven't actually spoken with Bill Horn before, but um, but uh, it's a yeah. great place to start. I think yeah, I think you'll yeah, find some good. good suggestions there That's as well. Good. Yeah, those are very good. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Julie? Yes. Hand raise. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to suggest that uh, you might want to just come to Washington Lake Park and see some of the stuff that we have exhibited. What we have tried to do is, uh, you know, pick out the wonderful work that unknown people and some who are better known are actually producing. Uh, at the moment, we have an exhibit that includes, um, I think, 23 artists. And our next exhibit will be up probably um, in early September. The person who helps to manufacture the panels has been ill, so we're a bit behind schedule. Uh, but that will include the work of another 19 artists. And uh, some of them, most of them, uh, in fact, are from South Jersey, but there also are some from North Jersey um, and uh, from down the shore. And uh, the work is a combination of photography, oils, watercolors. Uh, they have been reproduced from digital files of those, of those works. But um, they're really, I think, wonderful work. And um, at least, you know, it's an opportunity to, to see examples of uh, some of the stuff that is quite remarkable. So. Hey, how long is that? How long is that exhibit um, in, up for? The one that is up now will be up um, through the end of August, at least. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's soon. It, it may take a, another week after that. As I said, the, um, what we do is we have the, the, the photographer and printer who work on this. Uh, the, it, it has been ill, and so we're behind schedule. So it could be two weeks. OK, thank you. And then there will be another exhibit up. I share do, you, do you maybe have a list that you can provide, Laura, of the artists that were included in the exhibition? And then that way, if she can't get there before it comes down, she can at least uh, take sure. a look online and see what she can uh, find. Yeah, I have the what might be the catalog, so to speak, but without photos of the individual works, which is something I want to create next time around. So it's kind of a program that describes the work and it will uh, have references to uh, Instagrams or, or uh, pages or, or web pages or whatever folks may have their Facebook pages as well. So that's another way of getting to do their work. Okay. I have a suggestion too. Um, it seems like you're also looking for just a space locally to show work. Um, one of the things that, you know, I've seen the exhibit at Washington Lake Park and one of the things that's kind of coming up are um, temporary pop-up exhibitions. Um, Camden Fireworks actually just did one at a pocket park across the street um, mm -hmm. that you can check out anytime. You know, it's available um, to the public at all times of day. Um, it's basically um, a little setup where it frame, it's like a temporary wall frames, um, just like the Joyce. Um, and there's walls hanging, um, works hanging publicly. Um, so they built like kind of like temporary walls in a public space that's serving as a like temporary um, outdoor art space that's mm -hmm. open 24 seven. Um, and that's, I just think that might be an interesting idea for you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, when we did, we did do some temporary pop-up exhibits in town and it's you know harder and harder to find space that will let us do that you know especially when we don't have much funds at all for um for uh you know we don't have funds really enough to rent a property but um but yeah that's a great idea thank you how much space are you thinking is needed for the exhibition well i think it would depend on finding the space first and then seeing how many artists we could accommodate okay. So um, that, you know, that does follow, seems right. to follow the first to find a space. Do you, um, do you have a call for artists written up or any information that, about what it, exactly it is you're, you're looking for, even though you don't have a date, just kind of some general parameters if there's a genre or 
facts no, this that you is really, want. This is really initial. I mean, we okay. are having a um, a dark arts um, exhibit uh, that we have a call out for. I don't know if that call is out yet or not, but um, but you know, we had we had one last year, um, and that's going to be um, in a local uh, coffee shop here in town. But you know. It's sort of for fun and anybody can, just about anybody can enter something. But what I'm looking for is something more, um, you know, more of, I mean, just, I mean, not that don't, anybody don't just, it fun, but it's you know, something more professional. More professional. Don't forget uh, the Cumberland County uh, Community College has a wonderful gallery directed by Jackie Sandro in Millville. And it's a wonderful space. Mm -hmm. Arts and Innovation Arts Center. Arts and Innovation Center, yeah. And, no. and Jackie does great work. Her work is really good. Uh, the Cumberland County Arts and Innovation Center in Millville. And Innovation Center. Mm -hmm. So that's another possible place to contact for. Yeah, the gallery space. Yeah, gallery space. That's great. Yeah, I can connect you with Jackie um, too if you if you like. I'll send you her email. Oh, thank you. Can, yeah, I I don't I am not I'm not familiar and I don't. I can don't I care. Ask and a I, question, Beth, Laurie, Laura, sorry. Yeah, Laura, that's okay. A lot of people call me Beth. <laughs> and uh, I, I was just like reading it, so I know you because you came in last week, yeah, right? Or nice a week or so ago. Um, are you just, I, I know everyone's uh, throwing, um, you know, message, you know, brainstorming here. Yeah, but I, I do have a question because this to. has to do with the Hamilton Art Club. Are you specifically looking for locations just here straight in town? Well, I know that this is, you know, like you said, this is you're just mm -hmm. watching this and, mm -hmm. and you don't have, you know, a space um, to work from. But it's it's because I know the pop ups that you've had, they have been local. Mm -hmm. So are you looking to keep it local, like in Hamilton? Well, not necessarily. Um, you know, a lot depends on. Um, I mean, Preferably, it would be in Hamilton, but not necessarily. It depends on what what we come up with and where this goes. Because even though Hamilton is all about local, we're also all about you know the region too. So it depends on um, you know the what the uh, the scope of um, how this kind of thing would turn out. I mean, I would like it to be a regular thing, like a biannual um, event, even. But it's something we haven't done yet, so it's really all open on the table kind of so okay. so i'm not sure if it would be <laughs> do you have a committee that's helping plan this or are you just kind of is it a, a seed of an idea right now and you will continue it's a real to seed of an it? idea okay so cool. i don't have um i don't have i mean i'm really coming to you like i said really initially you know raw and rare and you know anything can happen so i'm just looking to looking for ideas and where to uh, begin. And I have lots of good stuff written down so far. I really appreciate all the input. And Laura, step, by, step back in some time because I have some ideas for you too, including okay. my space here would be great for a pop-up as long as I can work it out that you know, workshops are going on or, or and there would be time to set it up. Okay. You know, I'm limited with uh, wall space because it literally is like, Mm -hmm. concrete walls so you know there's not a whole lot you can nail into uh, but certainly with you know movable walls or something like that I'm you know I mean I'm willing to work with you guys I think I pretty much already do so yes you do Paul thanks yeah. thanks I'll definitely do that and we do have other local exhibitions that we would like to continue as um as uh, pop-ups in town so that I'm yeah sure I have some I mean there's a lot of warehouse space here too that would be really remarkable to you know to to approach these business owners that have nothing to do or to you know in the arts field because um, yeah. aren't we always trying to especially the arts organize, organizations to connect with you know the other industries to mm -hmm partner in some way, you yeah, know? Yeah, alternative spaces certainly are, 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 are an idea too. 
Yeah. yeah. Have you had any contact with the makerspace that's just outside of Hamilton? Because they that's have what I was a lot with their warehouse space. And that yeah. might be really an interesting way to find space for the show as well as introduce artists to other studio space with tools and resources that they can they can use right near Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. I yeah, I I have not, but Don uh, Swenson, who's the art club president, he does is in contact with them. Great. So um, I wrote that down too, the makerspace. Very good. Wonderful. Thanks. Okay. Well, hopefully we've gotten you started with some good ideas, oh. but we can continue to to brainstorm if you have other thoughts. Um, so I just want to make make space for some other topics yeah. as well. We're, we've got about 15 minutes left. Yeah, I got a um, lot. And I see. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Laura. Um, I see Kimberly Camp joined us. Thank you, Kimberly, for taking time. I know you're always super busy. Uh, it's nice to see you here today. <laughs> um, other topics that people talked about in their introduction. Um, we had the upcoming um, Vicki Benetti. We're also looking um, for ways to find new artists for things that are happening in Washington Township. I hope that uh, the conversation we just had can help you as well. Um, Andrew, do you think there's any um, crossover here where we can help promote some of these exhibitions or calls for artists that are uh, being mentioned on the call? Absolutely, that's what I was gonna mention earlier. Um, definitely, uh, if you guys are interested in coming on, uh, drop a line and promoting uh, any events that you guys are planning on having, or if you guys are like an artist trying to get out there and get more people to view your, uh, your arts, uh, you guys can always contact us at One True Promotion. I put uh, all my information down in the chat. You guys can um, come and book an appointment to come on the show. It's 100% it's free and we like to promote you guys. So um, if you guys are interested, just let me know. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. Um, okay, so then I just want to uh, open it up for anyone else. Is there a topic or question that we, we haven't dug into that you would like to, to address before I give just a few updates and, and we wrap for the day. Hi, uh, Julie, has anybody, um, I don't know, I forget, sorry about that, joining a little bit late. I was trying to find a place to park in Collingswood. Um, does anybody uh, talk about the funding disparity issue uh, this meeting or? We, we haven't touched on that yet. Um, do we do we want to open that conversation up? Can if we, not, I, I put my email in the chat for anybody that wants to continue that conversation about a strategy for trying to address that. I would love to continue that conversation with you, Kim. So I'll definitely reach out. Great. Anyone else have any comments on that topic before we? Yeah, can you explain what that is? I'm terribly sorry for my ignorance. Um, what is the funding disparity? What is that? The, we're, we're talking about uh, the, the disparity in funding between North and South and demographics within um, each of those areas. So the BIPOC and Hispanic communities are not um, receiving the same amount of funding um, right. and the South, um, you know, receives, uh, we've received a big increase this year and we're very grateful for that. But um, always the topic of conversation is the amount of resources directed to the eight Southern counties for artists and arts um, organizations. To the ratio support the is about 11 to one. Oh, when I left here 30 years ago, it was nine to one. That's what happens. Yeah, oh yes, I know for years it's been, I write grants as well. And and yes, I, and, and, it, and it touches in all the arts industries as a matter of fact, including theater. Um, so yeah, I, I just said, like I said, forgive my ignorance. I didn't know what, was, what the label was pretty much, but yes, I, I totally get where you're going. I, I, I totally agree with you, yeah. It's definitely a big conversation. I'm not sure we can tag it into the last 13 minutes here, but it might be another topic for a whole called to be dedicated to discussing ways we can, you know, research and, and find out how we might affect some change with that because it is definitely a topic we need to not sweep under the rug and keep discussing. So I'm happy to, to move that conversation forward as much as possible. Anybody else? 
I, I'd love to share a, um, a little project um, that's being actually released tomorrow. Um, I'm Danielle Cartier. For those who haven't met me yet, um, I'm in South Camden. Let me get to the chat. Um, here we go. Oh, we'll see. I've actually been working on a t-shirt design that's going to be released tomorrow. Um, and the proceeds from the t-shirt design, here's a link to the t-shirt, um, are gonna benefit Cathedral um, Cathedral Kitchen in Camden, um, which is a food bank for those less fortunate. Um, and this shirt is something I designed, uh, which you know talks about the strength of Camden. Um, and you know that's something that I've definitely been interested in the past few years. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Um, and Thank you. Great, we've got the link there and I'll make sure I save this chat so I can capture all of these great links and information and include them oh, in the post email. One thing that might be um, awesome just for us to have is just a contact sheet with everyone's name and email that participated today. Um, I've been writing down everyone's name, you know, that's shown up, but I'd love to have just everyone's email and website, um, you know, just to kind of have that kind of index after this meeting, I think would be helpful for not just me, but everyone here. Absolutely. Is everyone okay with me giving emails to with the group so that everyone can reach out and continue conversations that got started here? Wonderful. Okay. If you don't want that, just drop me a line and let me know and I, I won't include your emails. Wonderful. Okay. Um, anyone else want to share before we get to the updates and the, the closing out? No. Oh, Vicky. You know, just just one quick sure. thing. Yeah. It might be worth a while to, to at some point have that conversation about why we don't want to use BIPOC and diversity and all that kind of stuff. Um, since so many people are looking for opportunities to be more aware and more conscious of what current thinking is about race and racism, especially in the arts. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. I'll make a note of that too future meetings. Okay. okay. So we've got about 10 minutes left, a couple of topics for future meetings, which is great, um, because I feel like that's a really important part of keeping these conversations going. Um, I do want to have open space because I know that new, new topics are always coming up, but um, it's good to have some things to help guide the conversation so that we don't have um, pockets of silence during these meetings. So, okay, I need to get to my update sheet here because I did have some things I wanted to make sure I shared with all of you. Okay, so um, I'm going to be distributing a, I'm gonna put this in the chat right now. There's a link to a survey um, about this conversation and meetings like this. Uh, I really hope that these conversations can continue for artist groups, administrator groups within organizations and whatever communities of practice we're finding um, need their own dedicated space and time to have conversations about what matters to them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be having my ear to the ground. I'm going to be putting out some inquiries and seeing what kinds of uh, small group meetings might benefit the, the cultural community, but I'm totally open to suggestions. So if you can think of a small community that might want to gather and, and talk about topics important to them, please just send me an email and I will put that on the list. Um, if you need time with me, I, um, as most of you probably have heard through our bulletins and updates, Karen Pinzolo has stepped down as executive director of SJCA. Um, at the moment, I am the interim executive director, um, which means I'm an island unto myself. I am the only employee of SJCA at the moment, um, but I do want to make sure that I always have time for the community and my constituents. So I have a link uh, that I'm gonna put in the chat here and if you would like to book a, a meeting with me or make sure that we have some dedicated set aside time to talk about a project, you can always use that link. It's linked to my calendar, so it will show you what my availability is. Grab a time that works for you and we'll set up either a phone chat or a Zoom call or, you know, universe permitting eventually in person uh, meetings would be um, beneficial. So that is how you can always get a hold of me and make sure that we have time um, to talk about what's first and foremost in your minds. 
Um, I wanted to just put a couple of uh, reminders out there. Uh, we work pretty closely with the Hispanic Association, Association of Atlantic County. They have the Latino Festival coming up. I'm putting a link to the chat and the chat to that right now. Um, the Latino Festival is on September 25th. They are still looking for artists and food vendors and other uh, performers and um, anyone who wants to be involved in the festival really that is um, from the Hispanic community or is culturally related to um, anything in, in Hispanic arts and culture. So if you have uh, suggestions or information you wanna share about that, you can certainly reach out to me. I'll pass it along to the organizers, um, but we are very excited to be involved in that. SJCA will have a table there um, trying to reach out to artists and to um, people in, in the Atlantic City Hispanic community. So um, I wanted to make everyone aware of that. I also wanted you guys to know that um, you know, as an island unto myself, it can sometimes be difficult to um, create all of the programs that are needed by the community. So what we've been trying to do is sort of scour the internet and tap into our partners and our networks and find uh, the best listings for webinars that are relevant to South Jersey arts and culture. Um, and the same with grants and resources and other things that um, we think you will want to know about. We've made space for that on our website. And I have two link pages I'm gonna send you here. So there is a page for webinar listings from all across the field. So those are topics ranging from everything from organization centered topics on board governance to independent artists, topics on social media, or creating a virtual tour or any number of, of those topics. So make sure you're looking there um, for additional information. Um, I will be sending out future dates for calls like this and for those other communities of practice. Um, and I find it very beneficial to understand what you guys are thinking about and talking about and working on. And I hope that you are finding it beneficial in connecting with each other and feeling like SJCI is, is here to help you do that because that really is our one and only purpose to help you do what you're doing better and support the work you're doing through connection, collaboration, communication and, and resource development. So um, with just a few minutes left, I wanted to end on a fun note here. I was, I was introduced to some new um, software by um, Stephanie Nurbach, who works for the, uh, the New Jersey State Council on the Arts. She was heading up the uh, diversity in, in arts leadership program. Um, our intern this summer um, worked with, with us and Stephanie, and she introduced me to a software called Padlet, which is really fun, and it allows people to post um, fun posts during meetings. So I'm going to share the link here with you, I'm going to copy it, putting it in the chat right now. And I'm going to just share my screen so you can see what it looks like. But if you want to click on that link, it's going to bring you to a page that hopefully it looks something like this. It's a cork board and you can post whatever you'd like here. You can take a picture of yourself. There's gifts available. You can link to YouTube videos, anything you want to say you love these meetings, you hate these meetings. There's this great kitten meme you saw this morning. It's really just an open space to have fun. If you click on the little pink plus mark in the, the side there, it gives you some options. You can um, choose from adding your own pictures or adding a, a GIF. You can add a little Bob Ross if that's, if that's what you're feeling. And you can um, type a message. You can do whatever you'd like here. So I wanted to put that in the, the chat. And if anyone is interested in and having a little fun and posting something lighthearted or uh, with information that, uh, that you wanna share, you can do that here uh, for the last few minutes or you can hop off the call because we're all very busy people, right? <laughs> oh, you can click publish when you're done and there, there's your post. Okay. And I will stay on the line until everyone leaves in case there is anything that anyone wants to continue to talk with me about. Um, otherwise, use that link and, and grab a time slot and I'm happy to set up a meeting with you whenever it's needed. And everybody, I'm going to end here with a reminder of the Latino Festival my information, which I'll send out in the chat and the thank you slide. Thanks everybody.
Thank you. Bye, Paul. Bye, Rachel.